Ladies and gentlemen, um, good evening and fellow citizens. Um, the Commission would like to give an update on the collation process so far following the elections yesterday. Um, the polls closed at most polling stations at 5 p.m. yesterday. However, there was one um, area, the Fram Plains area, where the materials got there very late. And so, voting at about 10 p.m. to enable all those who were on the registers to vote. And in Jaman North, as we briefed the public yesterday, elections could not come on, and so they held today, and they just finished at 5 p.m. And we felt that because voting was still going on in one constituency, it was important that we hold up any formal briefings until after they had finished voting in Jaman North. Following the close of polls at all the polling stations, we, we've had a few challenges with the collation process, which we think is important to address. Um, in some constituencies, such as um, Tema East, there was an error in collation, and for a while there were some outstanding There were outstanding. It's gonna. There were some outstanding police station results. That issue has just been resolved, and we should be getting the results for Tema East shortly at the head office. In Ada, so we also had some challenges uh, with the polling station declaration of results. Eventually, it was agreed to move everything to the constituency collation center. And then there were some um, arguments between the parties which resulted in our electricity power supply being, um, what's the word? <laughs> being cut, being um, vandalized basically. And so there was no power. We have been working with the security agencies today to try and resolve the issues in that constituency. It's still outstanding. In Boko Central, Coalition is still ongoing, and we're still awaiting the outcome from there. We still have no results at head office from the northern region and the Volta region, so we're still waiting to receive those. As at this evening, as at 5 p.m., we have 90 constituency results for parliamentary and presidential at the National Coalition Center. We take the opportunity to congratulate all the members of parliament who have been elected. But for the 90 constituency results that we have here, they have not been signed by the candidates agents at the National Coalition Center. The candidates agents are saying that they want to see the pink sheets from all the polling stations for those 90 constituencies before they can certify the results. Now the absence of the signatures of the agents does not invalidate the results. But the Commission is of the view that yesterday when we held our elections we, we used a process that was very inclusive, very transparent, very credible and very legal. And we want to continue with that same spirit and those same principles in the collision of results. So we're giving the agents a bit more time, but in the meantime, the provisional results for the 90 constituencies will be put out to the public. There's been a lot of anxiety and calls upon the Commission to declare results. And we have noted with concern that the two big political parties have held press conferences, either stating that they have won or stating that they are ahead. We want to reiterate that the Commission does not declare results based on results collated by political parties. There is a results collation process that is legal and that leads to acceptability of results. And we intend to follow that process. We want to remind the public that it's only been 24 hours since the polls were closed. And this year we've had, in this election, more polling stations than we've ever had in our electoral history. In 2008, 
when the elections were held on December 7th, the results were declared on December 10th. It led to a runoff on the 28th of um, December, and the results for that runoff were declared on the 30th. At the declaration on the 30th, the Commission decided that there was the need to have hold elections in the time constituency which had been, um, which had not happened, which had been agenda at that point. And so um, the elections were held in time on the 2nd of January and the results were declared on the 3rd of January. It's worth noting that the time constituency had about 40,000 votes which decided it. A few minutes ago, polling ended in the Jaman North constituency and that constituency alone has 44,000 758 um, results, uh, voters. And so we think it is important that we exercise prudence, we ensure that the results we declare are accurate, and it is better that we take our time to make sure that results are properly signed off and collated before we declare it. Again, in 2012, elections were held on the 7th of December, and results were declared almost 72 hours later. So 24 hours is not too long. And so we'll urge all of you to please be patient. Um, prior to the elections, we had announced that we we're going to use two methods of results transmission, the manual process and the electronic results transmission. One of the main benefits of the electronic results transmission is that it would have enabled us to see the results of all the 29,000 police stations as recommended by the reform committee we set up after the 2012 elections before we declare the final results. Unfortunately, we've had challenges with our electronic results transmission system. We had reason to believe that the system had been compromised, and so we advised our returning officers at the coalition centers to stop using it and revert solely to the manual process. So as we speak, we are still waiting results through the manual process to come in, and we're making efforts to make sure that we see the, the polling station results before the final declaration. Um, the history of our presidential elections in the Fourth Republic in Ghana have been very close. And because of that closeness, we have a duty to ensure that we take our time, we collate the results properly, we ensure that the, the process of collation remains as inclusive and as transparent as the process of the elections. We want to assure you that we cannot change the results in any way. We cannot manipulate the results. The results have already been declared on a polling station by polling station basis. All we are doing is picking all those results that have already been declared and putting it together. But in doing that, we must ensure accuracy. In one polling station, for instance, in one constituency center, because the results were put um, through um, a computerized system and projected to a screen, the lines jumped. And so you'd find that um, the results for one party were showing for another party because the lines had jumped. That co um, collision center was vandalized. Even though that error was noticed and it was rectified um, before the final declaration. And so it is for these reasons that we think accuracy is more important than speed at this point. The duty we owe to the people of Ghana is not to declare results quickly. The duty we owe is to declare results that are accurate and reflect the will of the people of Ghana. That is the oath we have taken. That is our obligation under the law. And as much as possible, we intend to live up to that oath and to our legal obligations. So we want to urge everyone to please be patient. Give us time to make sure that we work with the agents of the candidates and we bring you results that are accurate and that reflect the will of the people. We thank you very much and um, we will be giving you more regular updates as um, more results come in and are certified. Thank you.